this lesson we will talk about Einstein's notations. Now there is a lot of writing that will be required when we will start um, solving problems in general relativity. Einstein himself had this problem of writing many many big equations um, and there were many summation signs that 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 that, uh, that were there. So Einstein actually is one of the uh, so in, in this lesson we will sort of talk about Einstein's notation which we can write things in much simpler way. Um, just to begin with, a summation sign a i b i where i is some number that varies from some value to some value. We know that this is written as um, a 0 b 0 let us say it goes from 0 to n plus a n b n so on in between and what Einstein uh, was tired of writing the summation sign so he actually just wrote the whole thing as a i b i. Now you may be wondering why there is an i in the upper indices and this i in the lower indices. Let us not really worry about that for now. Um, but the idea is that the summation sign has been skipped. So a i b i is nothing which I mean this i is actually called the dummy index. So whenever you see a repeated index, it's a dummy index, and it's meant to be summed over it. For example, let's say C J A I B I. This is nothing but um, let's say for J equals zero. This is nothing but C zero, and in the bracket we know it's going to be A zero B zero plus da 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 A N B N. Um, well, we can have partial differentials included, something like this. In this case, and if you, you can actually see, this is nothing but del A, um, del A, let us say i varies from x, y, and z axis, and we know it is del A x. Um, just a minute. Over del x plus del a y over del y plus del a z over del z, where i is x y z. And if you can clearly see, this is nothing but divergence of the vector a. Okay, <clears throat> we can also write something like this. Uh, well, let me introduce two more things. The first one is called Kronecker delta, which will make our life easier in writing things, and this is called delta ij and this is defined equals 0 if i does not equal to j and is 1 if i equals j. There is one more thing, this is called Levi Civita symbol and it is written as epsilon i j k this is 0 if either of i, j, k is are equal. Ah. If either i, j, k are equal, this is 1 if they are cyclic and this is if um, they are not cyclic. So for example in x, y, z plane system 
um, we know that e x x y will be 0 e x y z will be 1 and e x z y will be minus 1 okay um, we will have probably we, will, we are going to encounter these two very often and um, we will we'll understand more about them but for now they are just symbols for this particular lesson um, let's write few more things e i j k um, let's say c i equals e i j k a j b k and if you look closely you will see this is nothing but cross product this is cross product of a b you see this is giving you just one component i can vary between x y and z well i should have actually written cross product c equals a cross b similarly you can also write something like this epsilon i j k partial j a k and if you look closely this is nothing but curve few more things like partial i partial j a um, j is nothing but nabla square a uh, some place I'm using lower indices, some place I'm using um, upper indices. Let's please forget about that for now. Maybe I've just mixed those indices. I shouldn't have mixed them. For now, let's just worry about the indices. And um, in the next class, maybe I'll talk about contravariant and covariant vectors, and then we'll try to um, organize things in much better way. So please ignore super and subscripts for now okay moreover there's one more thing um, it's not that we just have to do summation only with um, um, the, the dummy indices it can be operated on for example simple chain rule partial of I a j B J is nothing but B J partial I A J plus A J partial I B J. This can be written like this. Or um, well, you can have a case where something like this in this case is going to be partial i now you see um, this is a vector just in the end only one indice is, is surviving um, let's make this j and k this is bj well actually bk partial i aj plus um, a j partial i b k this is the tensor it has three indices i j k okay now next class i'll clarify why this uh, there is an upper and lower indices and will give more information and you can actually visit this back and if you find some 